Figured it'd be fun to do a get ready with me because I've only been posting one video a week. I just want to talk, tell you guys my my spooky story. <laughs> you guys but while I do that I'm gonna get ready for work because Daxie's finally sleeping he's been taking two-hour naps it's been great okay so I've got my little beauty blender so you guys this story that I'm about to tell you I work at a bar it is a very old bar and I work the swing shift which is from 4 p.m. until midnight or later however late everybody stays it's Saturday which means that everybody's down at the other bar because they do karaoke down there. I was just sitting there minding my own business, you know, a really slow day. So I go in and I clean up the back room because there's like the bar and then the machines and then they have like a back room with a pool table and then like a sitting area and a TV and a jukebox and stuff. So I went back there and I was cleaning up the tables and stuff like that. And I have a certain way that I set things. Like the tables have to be arranged in a certain way so that they look nice. My pool sticks have to be in a certain way. Like they're always in the same slots. I'm just OCD like that because if I, I don't want to forget something. Anyway, so I take the little pool chalk and they have little quarter, I'll put it right here. It's a little quarter thing where you stick your quarters if you want to play next. Um, it's like a spot holder, but I put it in the number two slot. I slide the little chalk in there upright so that it, someone doesn't accidentally knock it off the table because it's got the little round thing under it. I finish cleaning the pool room and then I go up and you know I'm cleaning and finding things to do and four hours, three, four hours goes by. I hear things sometimes and it freaks me out. So I keep my music really, really loud in the bar so that I can't hear anything. <clears throat> and I was singing and I went back into the pool room, you know, to look around again, see if I could sweep under the tables, seeing if I missed something. And the pool chalk that I'd set there was not in the spot that I put it in. <laughs> and I instantly just like got, you ever get so scared that you just like get lightheaded? I got so lightheaded. Oh, I'm using, it's still from the dream. This is the liquid mousse. So I put it on the inside of my face because it works better with my combination skin that I have going on but anyways I froze and I got really scared I was like that is not how I put that like I know I know that I did not leave that chalk there like that so I'm starting to like silently panic to myself and I didn't know what to do like I didn't want to move I called Andrew on FaceTime and I said babe like this just happened. I showed him how I had set the chalk and how it was and I set it back on its side and I swear I swear, I put that chalk right back in that number two slot how I had thought. Andrew says that I didn't, thank God, because I was, it tripped me out. I walked away after I stuck the chalk back how I thought that I had. I went to walk away and then I turned around to reference the pool table and that freaking chalk was sitting sideways again. And I almost broke down. I'm gonna cry, I don't know what to do, I've just got this really eerie feeling. And not that it was like a bad spirit or, I just was so scared, I had no idea what to do. I have this little, it's called the color workshop that I'm using for my, uh, for my bronzer, the highlighter fell out of it. We work janky around here. But I'm giving myself a sun-kissed glow. I have not been this scared in a very, very, very long time. I'm not even going to mess with it because I'm the kind of person that something could fly across the room and I'd be like, it's okay. It was just the wind. Like, that's how I am about stuff like that because I'm like, you stay over there and do your thing and I'll stay over here and do my thing. I don't want to mess with you. I don't care. You do you and I'll do me. All right, boo-boo ghost. Okay. Like, that's how, <laughs> that's how I am with stuff like that. Okay, and then I have this color workshop blush. But um, anyway, so I called my sister at, because Andrew wouldn't talk to me and I was like, Katie. And I explained the situation to her and she's all, no way. And like, I mean, oh, I felt like a crazy person telling people this. Like I felt so stupid because what if I accidentally set the chalk like that? And it doesn't matter if I did or not. The fact is, is that it freaked me out. Like that is not how I remember putting the chalk. So I, I texted her and she ended up coming down and hanging out with me. I talked to her this morning, she said the whole time she was sitting there, she kind of got freaked out because she heard stuff like rustling around in the back room. And I told her, I was like, that's what I've been hearing. I hear that all the time, but I, it's an old building. Like things are just settling. But 
that was my creepy story for you guys. Now I feel better about it, but at the time I literally stood in the same spot for like an hour and a half. And then my boss called me on the work phone to see how everything was going. And I told him, I told him the story and he's all, what, what? And I was like, yeah, like this is what, I'm so freaked out right now. And I told him if it happened again, he was gonna have to come sit down with me. Has anybody ever had an experience like that? No, oh, I'm using the, just the original Naked palette and I'm using Buck for my crease and then I'm gonna go back in with a different color and get it all prudified. I haven't felt that scared in a really long time and I was literally like petrified to move over a piece of chalk. I'm using Hustle, the Hustle eyeshadow to fill in my eyebrows. I want to know from you guys if anybody <clears throat> else has experienced something like that. I was truly and utterly terrified. <laughs> this little turd has been awake this whole time just sitting up on my bed. You say hi, vlog family. Are you so happy? Let me squeeze you. For my lid color, I did Trick, Blitz, and Burnout. I mix all three of them together and I pack them on my eyelid with a little elf packing brush. Elf. This is my mom life right here with uh, a baby in my lap doing my makeup. This is Honest Beauty from Honest Company, my diaper company. They have a beauty line too. It's called Truly Kissable Lip Crayon, which it is not truly kissable because it transfers like crazy. I do that on my lips. Mm. Oh. <laughs> Pouty is what it's called. And it's a pout lip gloss. And then I just layer that over it because it's like a little bit of a darker. Because that rosy petal is a little bit too rosy for me. So. But this all my nest, buddy. This is a brown mascara too. Uh, uh, He's trying to grab my mascara. Uh, the concentration is real. Uh, Are you pooping on me? He's pooping on me. All right guys, that was my get my face ready with me for work. Get, get my face ready for work with me. Hashtag Hashtag. That was my get ready f with. Get ready with me. Except not my whole me. Just my face. Thanks for hanging out with me today. Hanging out with us. We will see you all next time. Tell them, remember to enjoy life every day. Goodbye bye. -bye.